I wasn't planning on making this, but... The past two weeks have been really bad. I've, I've, I've been... I don't even know why I'm doing this. Almost no one watches these. I, I guess it's just because I just need to talk. And I don't like keeping things in a journal. I don't like writing shit down. It just feels like a chore. This doesn't feel like a chore. I've just been getting low a lot lately. And I mean like low emotionally. Mentally. You know, I think about how you know, you see you see a lot of people online living their best lives and doing better and progressing and you don't want to be jealous and you don't want to be resentful of them for doing what they're supposed to do. Oh, progressing their lives, getting better. And it's not resentment, it's not anger at them, they're not doing anything wrong. It's just pure jealousy. It's not even jealousy necessarily in the thing they're doing. As much as it is, is jealousy of how did they figure out what to do? You know, I would use the word unambitious to describe me, and that sounds like I'm saying lazy, but I'm not lazy. I can work. I do work. When I'm given a task or when I have a task to do, I put my all into it and I get it done. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes just like anyone else, but I get it done. I do the task. I. The problem is, for years, all I ever said was, I don't know what I want to do. But the answer really is, I don't want to do anything. I don't have anything in me that drives me to want to do something. So I'm just living through, in any aspect, in any aspect. So professionally, I'm nowhere. Personally, I'm nowhere. And I'm completely alone. I felt some kind of miserable wrong on the inside since I was like 13 years old. And it's not like people didn't notice it, but everybody just sort of waved it off. Like my parents, family, everybody, they just didn't know what to do. And everybody acted just like I would get over it and I just assumed that that would happen. And it didn't. And now I've been stuck in this fucking emotionally stunted place for 23 fucking years. And I don't know what to do about it. I know get a psychiatrist, but A, seeking mental help already just sounds exhausting. And B, it's not like I have a shit ton of money to spend, especially right now. And I've already pointed out how I've just... And now I'm just looking for work. It's not even the immediacy of needing a job that's bothering me. It's not like I'm going to be homeless next month. I have my rent money for this month right here. The problem is, as I'm spending all these days with nothing to do, no purpose, and I'm seeking out a job, and all of these jobs are purposeless too. They're all purposeless too. They don't mean anything to me. My last job didn't mean anything to me. You know, reading old journals of when I first started, I fucking hated it. I just did it because back then I was in a way more desperate situation.
None of this shit means a damn thing to me. But here I am looking for a job to save me. And it's not going to save me because they don't mean anything to me because they're not a path to anything. That's not a job's responsibility. The most I can hope for is what I had with my last job. Just pay me enough to feel comfortable so I can forget about my problems most of the time and then I won't actually fucking solve them again like a fucking dumbass. And then when they fire me for some fucking bullshit, five f it still makes me angry. Because every time I have to talk to the fucking new jobs that I'm interviewing for, they all ask about my last job. And they all ask, well, it looks like you were there for quite some time. Yeah, I was. Why did you get, f I was like, well, what happened? And I got fired. Really? Why'd you get fired? And all I can, ex all I can say to them is, I just made too many mistakes. And it's like, after five years? It doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? It's not like I made some huge fucking error. I just made a couple mistakes after f over five years. I got a job interview I'm going to tomorrow. It's fairly close by. I went to one today. Technically, I went to two. To, well, I went. I went to one today that I was supposed to go. That I went to yesterday, and the guy who I was supposed to interview with wasn't there. So I went to. So I called. I'm supposed to meet with another guy today. Now, when I call, they go, well, we're just doing applications right now. I'm like, well, I already turned in an application. That's why you called me in the fucking first place. So I go down there, and they just describe the fucking job and saying, yeah, we're just taking app Like, literally, I didn't have to go down there. They could have just said this over the phone. They could have just described what the job is. And then I just asked, like, what are the hours? It's, like, usually, like, 8 to 3.30, which is, like, whatever, Monday through Friday. And then, you know, uh, we'll... Uh, you know, I asked what the pay is, and they said, I think, the guy was like, I think, like, thirteen fifty. It sounds like another fucking bunch of assholes who don't even know what the fuck they're doing. It's like, you're the guy doing fucking interviews or talking to new hires, and you don't know the fucking specifics? You don't know the specifics of when people fucking work or what they get fucking paid? Jesus fucking Christ! And I don't know how to do my job?! I got another place that I'm going to interview with tomorrow, or yeah, tomorrow, a hospital. That's around 1.30. Then I set up a phone interview for like 3.30 for some fucking other thing that I don't want to fucking do and probably doesn't pay that much. I can't keep seeking out a job to fucking save me. And a friend invited me to something. Not this weekend, next weekend. That I have to, like, buy a ticket and rent a car for. The ticket price ain't nothing. It's like 20 bucks. The car rental might be a little pricey. I really wish I could just buy a fucking car. It's not like I don't... I technically have the money for it, but without any income coming in, I really don't want to spend that much money right now. But that's one of those things I should have taken care of in the past five fucking years. I should have bought a fucking car. Just some fucking little used car to get me from point A to point B, because that would be really helpful right now. I don't know how other people do this. I see other people managing their lives so fucking well, and I don't know how they fucking do it. How do you fucking do it? 
Why am I so fucking defective? It's so frustrating. And it's just all coming together. It's just all coming together. I I have no job, so I have no source of income. So that's just a major fucking, you know, life thing in every way. Then I have to deal with my own personal problems that I was just putting off, like the fact that I'm fucking completely, f I'm a worthless, unambitious moron. Then I have no one, I have no friends, no family to fucking talk to. And that's my fault too. I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to do any of this anymore. I just don't want to do it anymore. I'm terrible at it. When you're bad at something, you should just quit it, right? They say keep going and you'll get better. I I've been doing it for, you know, I'm 36. Let's say you start, you start out as an adult in this world Technically at 18. That means I've been doing it for 18 years and I've been failing miserably at it the whole time. I've barely progressed at all. The, the only thing I have to show for it is a shitty apartment that fucking sucks. And a bunch of fucking possessions I don't care about. Part of me wants to fucking just sell everything and then go buy like a fucking van. Or, you know, I saw someone online who bought like a little trailer and has a fucking Jeep and she's just going to travel around. Go live like a fucking, like that nomad life, nomad land lifestyle, you know? But that wouldn't do anything about the loneliness. That looked like such a lonely existence. I don't know what to do. I just... Sometimes you just get low, like I said. And I've been, it's been happening a lot lately. I have moments where I feel a little better, but it just comes back to me that I've just, I got nothing. I got nothing. And I don't even have anybody to be angry about it. Angry to be at. I don't have anybody to be angry at about it. Can't even fucking talk, you fucking moron. And I'm doing these fucking fucking videos like they mean something. It's just something that feels like it gives me some kind of fucking schedule. But I'll keep doing them. I can't even sleep right. Once again, I'm back at that stage where I can't even sleep right. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't even know why I'm making this. I don't know why. I don't know. I. Uh, like, I need to try to just wind down for the evening. Just get through tomorrow. And then the weekend will be here and I'm better at relaxing on the weekends. I'm better at not thinking about shit on the weekends. I'm better at ignoring shit on the weekends. I just, I, I need a couple days where I just don't have to fucking focus on this. I can't do it every day. It's fucking driving me crazy because it's there's no answers. I have no answers. I gotta keep going because there's no there's only one other choice and I don't want to take that one so 
So yeah. If you actually watch through all of this, sorry. I just... <sighs> Sometimes I just get low and I just needed to talk about it. Hopefully the next video I make will be a bit more positive, but that'll be the Friday video recapping my week, so probably not that much more positive. Sorry. Have a good night.